Oxford EMS partnered with Life, Life South Community Blood Centers to host a blood drive to encourage people within the community to donate blood and potentially save lives. Earlier today, dozens of people were in line getting prepped by trained officials in order to donate blood. The supply in the area has been relatively low, and Oxford EMS took it upon themselves to organize this event to motivate people to come out and give. Gift cards and other prizes were given away, while people participated in a raffle to win a Yeti cooler. EMS had different games and activities for the children to engage in while their parents were giving blood. Oxford paramedic Brian Selke says there's always a need to give. Any given time, you may need a lot of blood and you don't ever want to be without. So we're, we're trying to get as many donations as we can. We've, it is about having that supply available if we need it. And like I said, hopefully we'll never need this blood, but if we do have something in our community uh, that calls for a large amount of blood flash, we'll have it on hand. With Hurricane Michael contributing to make a huge impact, several blood donor centers had to shut down in parts of Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. Donor recruiter for Life South, Kelly Porter, says they've had to work twice as hard to prepare for the effects of the storm, which it could bring to people in surrounding areas. We do have to pick up the slack because those local hospitals there still depend on the blood for their areas. And so we have to make sure that we make enough blood here, not only for our area, that we still have our local hospitals um, completed with the bloods that they need, but we also have enough to send to those areas that are not collecting. If you could not make it to the Blood Drive Center earlier today, but still want to do your part, simply visit www.lifesouth.org and find a blood donation center near you.